Financial freedom is a dream goal for many people, and Warren Buffett, as one of the most successful investors in the world, is famous for his excellent investment wisdom and financial management capabilities. Buffett has accumulated huge wealth over the past few decades through long-term and stable investment strategies and value investment principles, and finally achieved financial freedom. Here are Buffett's key elements and strategies for financial freedom. 2. Investment Wisdom Buffett is famous for his unique value investing strategy, where he looks for high-quality stocks with potential value and holds them for the long term. He focuses on analyzing company fundamentals, looking for businesses with competitive advantages, sustainable profitability, and excellent management teams. By investing in the stocks of these excellent companies, he received generous returns and gradually accumulated wealth. Long-term investment, Buffett's investment philosophy emphasizes long-term investment. He believes that the longer you hold a stock, the more reliable your investment returns will be. He does not chase short-term gains, but selects companies with stable growth prospects and sustained competitive advantages, and waits patiently for their value to be recognized by the market. Asset Allocation Buffett attaches great importance to reasonable asset allocation. He advises investors to allocate funds among different asset classes, including stocks, bonds, and cash. This reduces risk and achieves long-term stable returns. Grasp the economic cycle, Buffett believes that fluctuations in the economic cycle provide investment opportunities. He is good at buying undervalued stocks during downturns and enjoying their growth during recovery periods. He believes that short-term fluctuations in the market will not affect the value of long-term investments. Continuous learning and knowledge accumulation, Buffett has always maintained a learning attitude and constantly expanded his knowledge and understanding. He believes that only through in-depth understanding of companies and industries can we make wise investment decisions. Continuous learning and knowledge accumulation, Buffett has always maintained a learning attitude and constantly expanded his knowledge and understanding. He believes that only through in-depth understanding of companies and industries can we make wise investment decisions. Establish stable cash flow, Buffett emphasizes that companies should establish stable cash flow. He likes businesses that consistently generate significant cash flow because they have the ability to pay dividends, buy back stock or invest in expansion. Long-term planning and financial discipline, Buffett firmly believes in the importance of long-term planning and financial discipline. He encourages investors to set clear financial goals and stick to their investment strategies without being disturbed by short-term market fluctuations. Buffett's financial freedom was not achieved overnight, but was gradually achieved through long-term persistence and accumulation of wisdom. His successful experience tells us that in the process of pursuing financial freedom, we should focus on value investing, long-term holdings, rational allocation of assets, grasping economic cycles, continuous learning and establishing stable cash flow. Through these key elements and strategies, we can learn from Buffett and gradually achieve the goal of financial freedom. Hold high quality stocks for the long term. Buffett emphasizes the importance of holding high quality stocks for the long term. He believes that investors should own stocks as if they were entire businesses, rather than just buying and selling shares. Long-term holding allows investors to share in the growth and profits of the business and receive dividends and capital appreciation. Avoid frequent trading. Buffett encourages investors to avoid frequent trading, as frequent trading may result in high transaction costs and tax burdens. He believes that after choosing the right investment target, you should hold it patiently and believe in its long-term appreciation potential. Choose investment opportunities carefully, Buffett chooses investment opportunities very carefully. He will conduct in-depth research and analysis of the financial status, industry prospects, and competitive advantages of potential investment targets. He emphasizes only investing in companies that he fully understands and trusts. Avoid excessive leverage. Buffett warns investors to avoid over-reliance on borrowing and leverage, as this can increase investment risk and lead to financial distress. He prefers to invest using his own funds to reduce risk and increase flexibility. Maintain investment discipline. Buffett emphasizes the importance of maintaining investment discipline. He follows his investment principles and follows his strategy steadfastly, undisturbed by market sentiment and noise. Teen look for long-term competitive advantages. Buffett likes to invest in companies with long-term competitive advantages. He focuses on factors such as the company's business model, brand value, technological innovation and market share to find those companies that can consistently earn high returns. Charitable giving and giving back, Buffett is known for his philanthropy.
Although he is one of the richest men in the world, he has been committed to using his wealth for philanthropy and has pledged to donate the vast majority of his wealth to charity. This act of giving back to society is also part of the reason behind his success. In general, Buffett's financial freedom was gradually achieved through strategies such as long-term stable investment, value investment principles, reasonable asset allocation, continuous learning and prudent selection of investment opportunities. His investment philosophy and wisdom provide valuable inspiration and guidance for those pursuing financial freedom. However, it's important to remember that everyone's financial situation and goals are different, so when developing a personal financial freedom plan, it needs to be adjusted and customized to your circumstances. Buffett's wealth consists of two parts, his personal wealth and the wealth he owns through Berkshire Hathaway. The source of his wealth is mainly obtained through long-term investment, which is based on his value investment strategy. The stocks and companies he buys tend to have strong brands and stable revenue. Buffett's financial freedom depends on his investment strategy, which relies on in-depth knowledge and analysis of stocks. This financial freedom gave him the ability to continue making new investments while also providing him with a certain level of financial security. It is worth noting that even so, Buffett still lives a fairly frugal life, which reflects his understanding of financial freedom and responsibility. His financial freedom does not just mean that he can spend as much as he wants, but that he can make the investment decisions he wants without paying too much attention to possible economic fluctuations in the short term. This is because his financial situation allows him to bear a certain amount of financial risk. Buffett's financial freedom is also a reflection of his benefits from the capitalist economy. In a profit-driven market, people with capital and knowledge have a greater possibility of success. He gained wealth through investment and then used the wealth to invest more. In this way, he achieved financial freedom that is slightly different from what people usually understand as freedom. In some senses, Buffett's financial freedom is also the result of his shrewd investment strategy. His investment strategy emphasizes long-term stable returns rather than short-term speculation. That's why he's known as a profit, someone who can predict which companies will generate profits in the future. When we talk about financial freedom, we are actually referring to freedom on a larger scale, the ability to make our own decisions, free from the influence of forces outside of our control. To be able to live life on our own terms without being limited by financial pressures. Buffett has such financial freedom. When people talk about financial freedom, they often think of freedom from money stress and having enough wealth to achieve their dreams and enjoy life. Financial freedom does not just mean having a lot of money, but it means achieving financial independence and stability through wise financial planning and rational investment. In this article, I'll explore what it means to be financially free, the path to achieving it, and the benefits that financial freedom brings. Let's explore what financial freedom means. Financial freedom means no longer being bound by money and being able to freely choose your own lifestyle and career development. Having financial freedom means that you can no longer worry about every penny and can face the challenges and opportunities in life more calmly. Financial freedom also means you can provide better living conditions for yourself and your family and achieve more dreams and goals. Therefore, financial freedom is a goal that many people aspire to pursue, and it represents an improvement in the quality of life and happiness. So, how can you achieve financial freedom? First, there must be a clear financial plan. Financial planning includes budget management, investment planning, retirement planning, etc. Through reasonable planning and arrangements, we can help us better control our financial situation. Secondly, we must learn to invest rationally. Investment is one of the important ways to achieve financial freedom, but investment also comes with risks. Therefore, we need to learn investment knowledge, rationally analyze investment targets, and diversify investment risks in order to obtain stable investment returns. In addition, maintain rational consumption and debt management. Excessive consumption and bad debt will become stumbling blocks to achieving financial freedom. Therefore, we need to maintain a rational consumption concept, avoid excessive consumption and unnecessary debt, and ensure the stability and health of our financial situation. Finally, let's look at the benefits of financial freedom. First, financial freedom can bring more choices and freedom. 
Having financial freedom means you have more freedom to choose your own lifestyle and career development and are no longer restricted by money. Secondly, financial freedom can bring more security and happiness. No longer anxious about money, you can face the challenges and opportunities in life more calmly, which will bring more security and happiness. Finally, financial freedom can also provide you and your family with better living conditions and more opportunities. It can provide better educational resources for children, better medical security for families, and realize more dreams and goals. When summarizing the above, we can see that financial freedom is a goal that many people aspire to pursue, and it represents an improvement in quality of life and happiness. To achieve financial freedom, we need to have clear financial planning, rational investment, rational consumption, and debt management capabilities. Achieving financial freedom will bring more choices and freedom, more security and happiness, and provide better living conditions and more opportunities for us and our families. I hope this article can help you better understand the meaning of financial freedom and the ways to achieve it, and provide you with some ideas and inspiration on the road to financial freedom. In this era of pursuing dreams, wealth and freedom have become the goal that many people aspire to. Financial freedom is not an unattainable dream, but a reality that can be achieved through wise decisions and consistent hard work. Financial freedom is a dream goal for many people. It means being able to freely choose your own lifestyle, free from financial constraints. However, achieving financial freedom is not easy and requires determination and smart financial planning. First, to achieve financial freedom, you need to control your spending and increase your income. This means being careful with your budget, planning every expenditure reasonably, and avoiding unnecessary waste. At the same time, you should also look for ways to increase your income, which can be achieved by improving your skills, finding a higher paying job, or investing in financial management. Secondly, we must learn to consume and invest rationally. Don't blindly pursue consumption, but make consumption plans based on your actual needs and financial situation. At the same time, you must learn to invest and manage money so that your funds can get better value added. Finally, establish tight financial planning and budgeting. By formulating detailed financial plans and budgets, you can better control your financial situation and avoid unnecessary financial risks. In short, achieving financial freedom requires determination and smart financial planning. Only by controlling expenditures, increasing income, consuming and investing rationally, and establishing good financial planning and budgeting can we ultimately achieve the goal of financial freedom. I hope everyone can achieve financial freedom and live a free life through their own efforts.